you tune in to WJR in the morning, perhaps after you leave us and get out on your morning drive and listen to the radio, no doubt you have heard Paul W. Smith over the years. Yeah, since moving to the morning show in 1996, he's been waking up Detroiters and getting them started on their day. But after almost three decades of setting extra early alarms, Paul W. making a change. <laughs> and he joins us now from his home studio. Good morning, Paul W. Is there any truth <laughs> to morning, the fact Paul. that Guy Gordon has demanded his golf times just not get interrupted and he needs to make this switch? <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna work backwards to that. First of all, hi Rhonda, hi, hi Jason. Paul. Good to uh, see Jason, you. I haven't seen Jason since uh, Doug Bernstein's Wild Game Dinner a while ago. Oh. Not and true. I see we Rhonda saw each at other at different events. Yes. Oh, I was trying to. We saw each other at the uh, right before a Hop Nobble Gobble. I saw. I ran into you. But there we you derailed. Go. And there. Rhonda's everywhere. <laughs> Rhonda, I just want to say that. Uh, both Jason and I uh, grew up watching you. <laughs> I thought you'd get a kick. I Thanks a lot. I thought you'd get a kick. Thanks for I that. I thought you'd get a kick out of that because, <laughs> well, no, but seriously, you've been doing this a long time, but I hear that all the time. And mm -hmm. at first I went, well, what do you mean? You grew right. up watching me. Then I realized I've been on the air for 55 years altogether. So it is possible there are people who grew up watching me. And I've loved every minute of being on the air at WJR from six till nine, 27 years straight. Nobody's ever done the morning show at JR for 27 years straight. But an opportunity arose where I'll be able to still do what I love doing, talk to my WJR listeners every day, but sleep in. <laughs> so yes, your old partner, your old partner Guy Gordon uh, is going to take over the mornings. And he had, I don't know, 12 years with you, Rhonda, doing yes, the morning show? Yes, yes. It was so wonderful working alongside of him. He's he's great in the mornings, and it's nice to be able to get off the schedule uh, after 27 years. He's a true, he's I, a I'm, true in, I'm at like 25 I, listen, right now, so uh, I know what you're talking about. I was shocked. I'm not kidding when I say I really do watch you guys every morning because you start earlier than I do, and I do watch you guys. <laughs> But I heard you say, Rhonda, the other day, and I'm sure, Jason, it's true for you, too. You get up at 2 o'clock in the morning? Yes. What in the world time do you go to bed? <laughs> exactly. That's a good question. <laughs> Whenever the kids allow. <laughs> and yeah, the bedtime is, is just, just as hard as even... the wake-up time. Uh, and, and, you know, people will say to me, they probably say it to both of you, well, you're used to it now. I'm telling you, mm -mm. I never in 27 years got used to getting up at 4 o'clock in the morning. Part of my problem is I don't go to bed until midnight, 1 o'clock, sometimes 1.30, get up at 4. You're living on three, three and a half hours of sleep, and I that's know crazy. Yeah, so this I gives me a great about. opportunity. And, and it, but you never look tired. Oh, but thank I'm you. always tired. I do want to say that, um, just, you know, for all of your listeners, you know, that have been used to you for 27 years, change is hard. And how are you reassuring them? Well, I, I, I'm frankly, I'm trying to reassure myself <laughs> as well, because change, change is hard. Even difficult things that we do become kind of our way. I'm I'm very used to being with my listeners first thing in the morning. I don't know what it's going to be like to stop doing it all together. I am so happy, though, that I have the opportunity to be on from noon to 2. And I don't know if you guys remember, but there was a show called Focus on WJR. JP started it many years ago. I took over when JP got kind of tired of doing it. I even did it from Philadelphia for a while. So bringing that back and bringing back local news information and conversation that has everything to do with how Michigan fits in. We'll do national and international stories too. But now from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m., the prime time of radio, we will be all local and locally oriented. Again, all the stories that uh, we used to kind of stop doing from noon to three yeah. when we had, albeit very good syndicated programming, but. Detroit deserves this radio station, the mm -hmm. great voice of the Great Lakes, to be there across the board talking about things that matter most to us. And that's important, yeah. It's going to be exciting to hear the new show and how it uh, evolves a little bit. But uh, again, kudos, congratulations, not just uh, on this adventure, but, you know, uh, over the last three decades, following a legend yourself and making that your own, not easy to do. But Paul W., thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate you.
Hey, thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate being on the morning show that I watch every morning. Aww, Good stuff. That's high praise. It. We wish you the very best yeah. in your, your new hours and a little more thank sleep. Thank you, Rhonda. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm not a convinced. Lot more sleep. <laughs> a lot yes. more sleep. Thank you, Rhonda and Jason. God bless.